Welcome back to my walkthrough for Resident Evil 7, my friends. During this segment I will be playing the extra game Jack's 55th birthday and during this minigame we have to obtain SS rank on all of the different levels uh, which isn't necessarily easy to pull off but I'm going to show you how to do it and as always this will also be a no damage video. So to start things off we're going to be playing as Mia and all that we need to do uh, is serve food to Jack and once he has enough the level will be cleared so we'll open this level by shooting these two right here with your enhanced ammunition uh, a bullet to their head to the head of the molder should be enough to finish them off since it's a critical hit and let's pick up the food here in this first level we don't need to get a lot of food uh, Jack will be satisfied very easily uh, whenever you shoot an enemy the time freezes for a little bit and you'll gain some extra time however to get the double S rank, you do need to be very fast and not waste a single moment. That worked out pretty well though. And now let's just pick up this food as well. And once we have it prepared, we just have to give it to Jack and he'll be satisfied. There should be another molder, there he is. Let's shoot it. There we go. And now we can calmly Well I I mean calmly, but we actually have to book it. But we still have plenty of time to feed him, so we're all good. And we we have enough food to satisfy him this first time around. I have to tell you that even though this minigame is kind of bizarre, it's pretty funny though. And it's light-hearted, even though it's not necessarily easy to get the double S rank. But that's it for the first mission, and I'm going to start the second mission right away. Okay, so let's take care of this one. This is the best path I think that you can follow uh, in order to quickly gather all the food that you need. And by the way, uh, even without aiming the shotgun, if you aim the shotgun up, uh, it's enough usually to finish off the molded with a single bullet here. So that way you save some time and you don't have to waste time aiming. Turn back because there's immediately a guy waiting there. And now let's jump down here. And there's a couple more. That guy's down. This guy's down. Let's only pick up the middle bottle. Since that's what feeds Jack the best. Let's pick up that pepper as well. We're going to mix it with the plate. And if we're fast enough, as we turn here, we can still shoot the molder that appears over there. See? So by doing this you save a lot of time and it works pretty well. It might seem like we're pressing for time here but honestly usually in these levels you'll notice that you might have some issues at the start of the minigame because the requirements in terms of time to get the SS rank they're pretty hard. 
but once you advance in the level a little bit and you start uh, finishing off enemies, you'll actually gain a lot of points and you'll save a lot of time and you should have more than enough time to complete each mission. Let's feed Papa over here. everyone's wearing their birthday hats it's great let's get rid of this guy as well there we go and we don't need to go around instead we're going to head back down step to here make sure you get that molded Get some extra time that way. And there's going to be two more here. Nope. Adios. There we go. And now let's just pick up the food. Be careful with that four-legged molded. But like I said, uh, a shot from the shotgun, even without any upgrades on this stage, will be more than enough to finish them off. Not enough. I'm coming. You can also combine food, which will give you more points. And see, we still had a big bottle to spare, so it's all good. Uh, but now we're going to the third mission in the main house. I think that might be one of the toughest, at least for me. But we'll manage. Never quite understood why the double S rank is the, the best score. You could just put an A plus or something. But anyway, in this next stage, we are going to get a few upgrades here. So get firepower level one and also uh, speed up and it doesn't hurt if you get the time bonus as well because that way you'll gain extra time whenever you finish off an enemy this stage in my opinion might be the hardest because you have such little time and you really need to get that first molded very quickly otherwise you'll immediately go down to the S score and that can be very frustrating, so getting rid of that first molded really is the key. You'll notice that, honestly, after you defeat the first molded, uh, that's really half of the job done. Uh, the rest of the level isn't that bad. Yes, you have to be fairly fast to, to get this uh, stage cleared and get the double S score, but even still, Getting that first molded to me is the hardest part of this mission. Let's get rid of this guy and now their daddy is going to appear. Hey, there he is. I guess he's not too happy that we killed his sons. I mean literally they are like miniature versions of that guy. So Let's pick up some more food here and let's combine the fruit with the beer. Apparently that's really tasty, I wouldn't know, but apparently as far as Capcom is concerned it is. And now we're going to get a birthday cake for the birthday boy. Just need to get rid of some ammunition here, which we won't need anymore. Uh, a lot of the times you won't need uh, that much ammunition, honestly. So only carry what you need, that way you'll have more empty space for food and now we need to move quickly like I said I think that for me this stage is the hardest one get rid of Marguerite there we go 
Uh, let's pick up some more food here. Combine the cheese with the pot or the stew. And let's give it to Jack. And we at least finished that one off. And there's also a Mr. Everywhere here. There he is. There we go. That doubles our time. And now we're going to get another special weapon. Let's go through here and let's open fire. There's going to be a lot of molded for us to finish off here, so we'll get lots of time. I don't think I'll ever be able to take the molded seriously anymore. Not that I ever did, but the fact that they're wearing birthday heads kills me. And some of them are wearing little caps or <laughs> hats. It's hilarious. I think this minigame might be my favorite, honestly. Of all the DLC content, I really like it. Okay, so we have enough food for him at this point. So let's give him some cheesecake. That makes me want to, to get cheesecake myself, even though I wouldn't get it at the baker's house. I guess a trip to the cheesecake factory will have to do. But anyway, once we feed him here, we'll probably still have to... No, he's going to be good. He's going to be full. There we go. I wasn't quite sure if that was going to be enough or not, but we still had some pepper and even the pepper gives him some points, so that would have to be enough. Uh, but everything worked out pretty well. So that's another level cleared and now essentially we're going to repeat the same three levels, but we're going to be able to enter new areas and there's going to be a lot more enemies as well. So let's start with guest house number two. So during this stage we are going to get some upgrades as well, just so we can dispose of enemies quickly. And honestly the path for this stage isn't too bad. Just make sure you kill the first two molded quickly, because otherwise you might not be able to get uh, 4 minutes and 40 seconds time, uh, which is required to clear the double S rank, or to get the double S rank. So as soon as you step inside start shooting this guy, there we go. And now let's go up and let's shoot this guy as well. Poor molded. They probably think this is the worst birthday party ever. Since all they do is die. Anyway, nope. And let's shoot this guy as well. Like I said, if you simply aim your shotgun up, most of the times you'll be able to finish them off with a single bullet. Oops, that's not good. There we go. I'm glad I finished him off with that bullet. And over here you can pick up the Magnum and some birthday cake. They make, they make perfect sense together, honestly, you know. Why not? Honestly, that would be a nice surprise for Jack. Put a bomb inside the cake or something and just have it explode. I'm sure he'd like that, considering they're all sadistic anyway. Anyway, let's go through here and pick up some cheese and we can make some more cheesecake, which Jack loves. It's not his favorite thing, but he still really likes it. Room service, nope. I think I interrupted them. I guess Mia is the party pooper here. I mean, when you think about it, why am I wasting so many bullets? I need to focus, but... 
Uh, when you think about it, Mia would be the party pooper since she's killing every single guest. I'm sure you've heard the party pooper song. If not, you should go listen to that. Oh boy, that was close, wasn't it? It's a good thing we won't be needing the Magnum anymore. But anyway, now we're going to go back. And after you defeat that guy, you'll be able to gain access to extra ammunition both for your magnum, your handgun and your shotgun. I only care about the shotgun and the magnum ammunition and honestly I only need the, the shotgun ammunition most likely but it doesn't hurt to carry some extra ammunition and now let's take care of this guy. Stop growling. And we're going to head towards the basement. And we're going to get rid of some more molded. And fortunately we'll be getting a, a bonus weapon here. Which will allow us to finish off the next wave of enemies very quickly. I don't want any hugs, you know better than that. Oh, you're still alive. And you're alive too. Well... I guess I did need that magnum bullet after all. That's going to be fine though. We're just going to finish off this guy. There we go. No, still alive. And now we're going to get a move on. And there's some food items that I'm going to just ignore because we won't need them. Uh, let's run past the two fat molded here. Don't worry about them. Shoot this one. Shoot this one. Make sure you get away from them uh, because they explode. Pick up the fruit. And now let's turn back to the outside, shoot that guy, and let's shoot the other molded as well. And by the way, whenever you pick up garbage, Jack will vomit, but if you combine garbage with <laughs> sugar, apparently Jack loves it, and it's a very nice treat for him. So always combine the garbage with the sugar, and before you know it, Jack will be satisfied. Anyway, let's pick up this spear as well. And we're going to get out of here. We should have enough food for Jack. Still can't believe that combining garbage with sugar makes a really tasty meal. I don't think you guys should try that at home though. It might go very badly. Maybe Jack's a raccoon in disguise, and then in that case, then all of this makes sense. But anyway, let's give him the food. A nice hot plate of garbage. And that's all he needs to be fulfilled. He's going to have diarrhea after this. Anyway, that's another stage cleared, so only two more to go. And now we're going to go back to the testing area once again and this it also might be the hardest I know I said that the main house one was the hardest but this one is pretty hard as well just because of the first molded once you get the first two molded down then things become easier but anyway let's begin we have to be very quick here guys so let's get our handgun we're going to use the enhanced ammunition as well. We're going to get the shotgun and we're going to get some upgrades too. All time bonus upgrades will come in handy for this stage. And of course, speed things up as well. Just so Mia moves a little bit faster. Uh, and aside from that, we should be good. Let's get that guy. We have very little time to do this, honestly. Immediately turn around guys, as you can see, 7.55, that's your time to get the double S rank, and yeah, we really need to move very fast here, but honestly, after taking care of those two guys, things will become easier for us, because we're going to pick up that weapon and Mia is going to enter berserk mode. By the way, I love the fact that she's completely into party mode and she's just like, woohoo! 
All right, let's go. It seems that she really wasn't suffering all that much at the hand of the bakers. On the contrary, everyone else was suffering because of her. But there we go, that guy's down and we might still be able to get the other one. Yes. There we go. Don't worry if you miss one of them and you can't get them with a special weapon, however, because you should be fine. And why did I not pick up this fruit right away? I mean, we're good on time, as you can see. After that initial segment, we should be just fine now. And now we're going to speed check and then we're going to move to the other area of the testing site. So wait for that guy to get close. There we go. Explosion. And he's down as well. I'm wasting away here. Calm down. You're going to get your food. Not today, good sir, not today. Let's take care of this. Poor Molded, even though he was just waiting for us to surprise me and be like, Happy birthday! Instead he got shot. I mean, he was waiting in a dark room, you know he was preparing a surprise. Anyway, let's combine the sugar with the cake. Make it extra tasty. And now let's get a move on. And we're going to inspect the other side as well. Get some more food. Get rid of that guy, there we go. Surprise! I really feel bad for the molded. They just wanted to have a nice birthday party. Still alive, I see. Not anymore. And let's get rid of this guy as well. There we go. And don't worry, we have plenty of ammunition left, so we're good. And whoops. Totally need to give him food. I was going to move on to the next area without giving him the food. So that's my bad, but we're good. Now let's go through here. And we have plenty of time, so we're good. Don't worry about it. Nope. We're not even giving this model the chance to say happy birthday. I guess Mia was the true terror of the house. The model are they just want to open presents. Come on Mia, let's just open gifts and we'll be okay. Instead Mia shoots them. One more. And there we go. So that's another stage cleared, we only need to clear one more stage and then we'll be good. And this is the final stage and it might very well be the longest stage but I wouldn't say it's necessarily the hardest. So we should be okay. Last round. I love how they say that we have to make Jack eat it. I mean, it's not like we have to make him because he just keeps eating away without any issues in the world. But anyway, let's get those enhanced bullets prepared. 
Just so we can get the first two molded and then we're going to pick up a special weapon. There we go. And I'll go wild. I know there's a birthday cake there, but I will just leave it now. Because for this first segment, all that we're going to really worry about is finish off enemies quickly and also collect sugar. Because sugar uh, is going to be our main treat for Jack during this mission because there's going to be a lot of garbage for us to pick up. And if we combine it with sugar, that will make a really tasty treat for Jack, as you know. But now let's go through here. Try and aim for their head. And that will finish them off. Even with standard ammunition, two or three shots to the head will finish them off. Though I do have the bad tendency of hitting them in the arm. Well, that's not what I wanted to do. There we go. And let's pick up some spices here. We can mix it up with the stew that we have. But we'll do that a little bit later on. And in this area we can pick up some extra enhanced ammunition. So keep that in mind. And really that's all the ammunition that we're going to need uh, at this point. Let's combine the pepper, the spices with the stew. And now let's pick up some more sugar. And now Mia is going to enter Rambo mode. Just fire until we finish her off. There we go. And we'll be coming back here later to pick up a plate that Marguerite drops. If we're fast enough here we can finish off two more molded. right on time and now we're going to put some food items on the on this chest because we can access it uh, later on and that way we'll put all of our food items in the, in the chest and if we do that we won't have to travel back and forth and we'll be able to feed Jack quickly and complete the level with plenty of time to spare. As you can see, at this point you really don't need to worry about time anymore, you're going to be just fine. Um, unless something goes terribly wrong, we should get the S, S rank without any issues. go and there we go as well make sure you pick up everything here like I said the most important thing for you to pick up is the sugar if you do that you should be good because sugar with garbage or sugar with cake you know winning recipe right there apparently but now let's pick up this plate make her special and keep in mind that that will only appear once Marguerite is destroyed. So that's why you should leave and then come back here to collect some more things. Let's combine some more sugar with garbage, of course. Makes perfect sense. And now let's pick up a birthday cake. And let's combine it with the cheese to make the cheesecake. And honestly, we're good. 
we should have just about the right amount of food but either way I'm going to pick up some more food along the way just to be on the safe side there we go and another one bites the dust and now we're going to put some more food items on the chest and we can get rid of all the upgrades here we won't be battling any more molded at this stage just keep the one that allows you to move faster but aside from that will be good and honestly at this stage we're just going to keep feeding Jack until he's filled up and once that happens we'll be good to go a nice plate of garbage all right it's time to start feeding him and we'll just go back to the treasure chest or to the chest once we're done with all the food here, start eating away. Enjoy yourself. It's a good thing it doesn't take him a long time to eat and even the bottles, he still eats the glass, he doesn't care, he doesn't drink it, he just chows down on it. Makes sense. But anyway, let's get some more food. <laughs> so we're going to give Jack essentially garbage with sugar and cake with sugar so honestly not only are we giving him probably food poisoning we're also giving him diabetes so this might finish him off so maybe that was Mia's plan all along uh, kill Jack by feeding him crappy food it makes sense one more and he's probably also drunk now that I think about it. So yeah, things probably won't be looking too good for Jack. Uh, he might be comatose after this. But anyway guys, that's it. And we got the double S rank. And that's it for all the stages in this minigame. Quite the entertaining minigame. It was lighthearted. Even though it wasn't necessarily easy to figure out how to get these double S scores. But that's it for this segment. As always, thank you so much for watching. In the next part I'll be completing the Eat and Must Die uh, minigame as well, without damage. So, as always, thank you so much for watching and I will see you all later for the next part. Take care!